is no legal definition of hate speech. I'm using air quotes now, I'll spare you from now on. I put the term in quotation marks throughout my book, as many experts do, to underscore the fact that the United States Supreme Court has never defined any category of speech based on its hateful or hated content and said, therefore, it's not protected by the First Amendment. I use the term in my book the way most of us use it, David, and that is to signify expression that conveys a hateful, discriminatory, disparaging, stereotyped attitude. Certainly freedom of speech uh, comes with great hazards and great actual or at least potential harms, and yet I think censorship is even more flawed and more dangerous because no two people can agree on what is hate speech. When you have such an open-ended, subjective concept, by definition, whoever the enforcing authority is, is going to enforce in accordance with the most powerful, uh, influential sectors of society throughout history, around the world, and in this country, when we used to have hate speech laws, those laws are always disproportionately enforced against the very members of minority groups and advocates of their causes that are expected and hoped to be the beneficiaries of those laws. Most people do not know that the First Amendment, along with virtually all of the rights in the Constitution, only protect you against the government. Nobody can write a hate speech code that won't be used against speech that none of us want to suppress. It has been tried and tried and tried. Government must remain neutral with respect to the view, the idea, the message, the content. We've all heard the famous phrase from Oliver Wendell Holmes about freedom even for the thought that we loathe, right? Now the other principle which does allow censorship is if, you know, it's not based only on the content of the message and how despised or feared it might be, but on the context. If in a particular context, the message, including a hate message, directly causes certain specific, imminent, serious harm, then it can and should be punished. Counter speech is the term that lawyers use to refer to any exercise of our free speech rights to counter the potential harmful impact of other speech. And it can take an infinite number of, uh, of forms depending on the particular situation. What was new to me was more of the one-on-one -on -one interaction that so many people have so generously engaged in even with the most convinced hate mongers, even leaders of hate organizations with amazingly positive impacts. 